Welcome to the Spendwise Moms channel, your homemaking resource hub. This video includes two weeks of shopping for two people, spending an average of $9.93 per person per week. I got a lot of free food from our neighbor who was going on a trip, some free groceries from a store app and from Ibotta, and I got some free pumpkins. Prices keep rising, so it takes some creativity to eat healthy food and stay in your budget these days. There continues to be shrinkflation, which is where the manufacturers give you smaller packages of something, but charge you the same amount of money. For example, look at the difference in these two jars of relish bought only a couple of months apart. One is 10 ounces and one is 8 ounces. Relish used to come in 16 ounce jars. Shrinkflation has happened with granola bars as well, where they give you fewer bars. They went from 8 to 6 and now 5 bars in a package. Ice cream used to be in half gallon containers. Now they are in one and a half quart containers. That is one whole container of Ben and Jerry's less than what it used to be. Now there is something new to look out for, which is called skimpflation. I had never heard of this term until last week. Skimpflation is different from shrinkflation. With skimpflation, the manufacturers reformulate the product using cheaper ingredients. If you think your favorite chocolate syrup has changed in taste, it's probably because it has. Skimpflation may mean thinner sheets of toilet paper that weigh less than before. It may mean fewer grams of protein or more water in your favorite name brand soups. Watch for high fructose corn syrup instead of sugar in things like ketchup, maple syrup, and chocolate syrup. Some ingredients are taken out altogether, like taking the almonds out of granola and using an almond flavoring instead. Check your labels next time you go shopping to see what ingredients are now in your products. You may not want to buy them anymore. The manufacturers aren't the only one making changes in their food. I continue to cut back on meat and add more beans in my soup. Beans are so healthy and we use lots of spices to give the food a good flavor. I try to use more carrots, potatoes, and onions instead of other more expensive vegetables. Fortunately, we still have a whole freezer full of frozen produce from our garden. It's really helped with my grocery bill as well as lots of onions and carrots that will last a while. No need to be discouraged. Just switch things up a bit and find healthy recipes that are less expensive. Costco rotisserie chickens are still a fantastic deal. A little bit of meat can go a long way. Buy whatever you can find on sale. It doesn't matter if you eat a red, orange, or green pepper. There's a slight difference in taste, but the nutrition is pretty much the same. So save money by buying whatever is the best price. You can still get lots of variety when you buy food on sale. Eating well on a tight budget can be like a game, and you can just find a different strategy to use to win the grocery game. Thanks for watching the Spendwise Moms channel. Please subscribe for more videos like this.